L is a useful hotkey for locking the length of a curve. We'll jump into our scene one more time and hit Shift I to isolate select the curve. And if I right mouse button click on the curve, I can select the control vertices using a marquee menu. And typically, if I just move a control vertice on a curve, you can see that the length is sort of independent from the movement of this point. It doesn't really care, and it just moves it wherever I tell it. If I hold the L key down, you can see that the rest of the CVs on the curve try to move to compensate to maintain the overall length. So this can be a really handy modeling tool for creating a particular shape without modifying the length of a curve. So that's the L hotkey. One other thing to note about the L hotkey is it's also use used for executing level tools. Similar to the B hotkey, the M hotkey modifies the displacement for an artisan brush or a brush that we uh, mentioned earlier. So if we go into the scene that we were working with and select our surface and we shift right mouse button click again to go into the sculpt geometry tool, we'll change the radius using the B hotkey again. And in this case I'm going to change the operation to pull and if I hold the M hotkey down and drag left and right, you can see that the displacement amount changes. So if I lower that down, you can see that the displacement changes to reflect that arrow. So that's a pretty handy hotkey. Of course, we've talked about a couple of times Shift-M and Control-M and Control-Shift-M change the panel main menu as well as the panel buttons. So that's uh, the M hotkey. The N hotkey is also tied to Artisan, and if we go into the viewport once again and we select our surface here. I'm going to right mouse button click on the surface and go down to my paint 3D paint menu. And what's going on with the N hotkey is that it's just not changing any values at all. And I am pretty certain that it used to change the opacity, uh, but it's not doing anything now. So I figured it'd be a quick opportunity to talk about just the 3D paint tool in Maya. If you don't use it very often, it's pretty handy. All you have to do is select enter the tool on a surface that has a, a shader assigned to it. You can assign a texture and it'll bring up uh, just a size option as well as uh, an image format and some other options that I've already assigned here. From there all you have to do is select a paintbrush, select a color, and you can start painting. Uh, it's pressure sensitive just like the other artisan tools inside of Maya, so if you brush heavily it will give you a heavy stroke, if you brush lightly it gives you something smaller. So that's pretty nice to be able to do. You can also go and use paint effects brushes in here. So if we grab something like a, a galaxy brush, uh, you can go in and start spreading stars all over your water. So it's uh, you can undo in here. Uh, typically I would do something like this inside of Mudbox, but if you wanted to mock up something really quickly, uh, it's a handy tool to have. So let's move on. Uh, let's call the in hotkey as something that's, uh, that's still open to be used.